these are dors. Yeah, I'm interested. Dorset buttons. These are like um, Tenerife, I think, is what they call them. In the middle of your pine needle baskets. Yeah, you're going to teach it. Yeah, I'm learning. It's so beautiful. Oh, thanks. I have a, a picture of it that shows it. A dorset cross wheel button. So you start by going around with a, a blanket stitch. Yep. All the way around, and then and then uh, you get to making uh, the go around across everything. Yeah, it's sort of like uh, you make a wheel around it, or mm -hmm. you make the skeleton of your your mm -hmm. frame, I guess. And then what is number three? Continuing uh, to do more. Well, you do that, and then what you're trying, what you do is you uh, make a. Uh, oh, I guess. Yeah, this what, is sticking. This is second, and then here, you um, uh, join them all together. The oh, pairs. Oh, I see. You see oh, it. I see. Okay. So you take your needle and you push them. Okay. And then rounding. Oh, then you just go around with it. Yeah, you go around and, and you go around and back. Uh, to form. I'll just show you what here if you want. See, you're going. So you go here and you go around. So you go up here. You, oh, that's not real. Okay. It goes in here. But then you you come back and this wraps your spoke, your center your, the spoke. Mm, I see. Okay. And then you just move on to the other and you continue around. Wrapping each spoke. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, and then of course you're trying to keep it neat. Now this mm -hmm. one I sort of made it different. With, like a shell. Yeah, like a shell or. Whatever it's, um, and the wrapping makes a design on each wrap, on each stick. Yeah, it, yeah. Well, it's yes. And then you see that the because you're wrapping the, the center part, it, it makes these stand up proud. You know, mm -hmm. you've got uh, like arms. Yeah, looks very much like a beautiful shell. Yeah, it's cool. The, um, some of the other things. So what kind of yarn are you using? Oh, just embroidery floss, but you could use anything, like you can use wool. Now here, here's one that kind of made a tree and then I put some beads on it afterwards, so. Oh, isn't that interesting? So you can make, you could make ornaments if you wanted to, or I don't know, whatever, you decorate things. And so what do you start with? A little ring? Yes, start with a wing, ring. And you can start with small, or we can go to a, a medium, or we can go to a larger one, which, whichever you prefer. I think I'm going to try a large one. Okay, I've got some of those open already. So I'll pull the open package out. You've been doing a lot of these, have you? No, just those. It's... Um, I haven't actually found a use for them, and um, could make oh here they open them. make them into yeah. buttons. Yeah, well, people use them for buttons. One of the things that Kathy is doing. Okay, okay, you got one to start. And I like um, a dull pointed needle. And okay. Then, um, take this out so that you can. I'd like butter yellow. You want butter yellow? Because this, it's this yellow. Is that okay? Sure, you can have anything you want. All right. Um, See, and then I'll be able to match it. <laughs> See, there's different colors here too. You know, so you. Oh, okay. I see. You've got this all well organized. Well, I did. I'm just going to stick with the yellow, I think. Okay. And there's this too, in case you wanted to put some. This is yellow. Has yellow. Oh, okay. I, maybe I'll use one bit of the other yellow as a highlight at some point. That's too dark, but I guess. Yes. Yeah.
Okay. okay so Are you going to do this too? No, I You're across even, and then you you uh, keep going around. Okay. And you try to cover, the, go across the center every time. Yeah, it doesn't always work that way, but you you can shore up the center as um, when you're putting them all together. Mm -hmm. Part three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So when the, you got it like this, then this is where you... So you just did my part two. Yeah. Now, okay. do you want me to let it drop and you can do it? Well, it's okay. I'll leave it like that. And then I'll... Okay. But then you have to... Um, Okay, so you then you thread your well. You've got your needle, right? Mm -hmm. And so then you are trying to line it up. In, okay, I can do that. In pairs and stuff, and okay. try to keep it centered. Okay, I can do that. Three yards. Yeah, three yards. Well, for the this size. Whereas for the other one's two yards, which is a bit more manageable. So you bring it under there, and then you you kind of knot. So that's what a blanket stitch is. And typically, when you have a bit of a tail here, we'll um, put it under your stitch for a while, just so it it hides and it secures it. Oh, I see. Okay. Because you, you don't want that sort of sticking out. Okay, so we okay. got first one. Okay, then go around. So you go under that, and then you come out in this. Yeah, you come out. You you hold this so that there's still a loop there. Okay. Okay. See, it, it, so that's just... And that's how I wrap the whole thing. Yeah, okay. That's all. Alrighty then. You start working your way around. Oh yeah, I'm going to weave all the way around with my needle. Yeah, and so you're you're taking... Well, in this case, you've got a couple of uh, threads, but you go around... Oops, oh, that's so that, right. And then you, you loop right around that one. Yeah. Oops, it's not going the right way. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> Here, I'll do it. I know what okay, you mean, though. Because you, know you showed me already. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, there. 